channel so I'm filming in front of my front door because as you can tell it's an apartment tour yes I know I did not wait two years like I did with our last place uh, to film this and I'm really excited because we finally got it kind of all together there's a few things we want to like add and change a little bit but not too much so that's why I kind of wanted to wait and make sure we had everything so I could give you guys some decor ideas so obviously, this is where you enter, and there's a huge hallway, so I'm going to take you through that, and we're going to start in the main room. But before I like go and explain everything quickly, I know you guys kind of already know, but I just wanted to like reiterate this. Um, you guys know that we live in New York City, um, but this apartment is in Brooklyn. So we've always lived in Brooklyn. We switched neighborhoods when we moved to this place, so we kind of got like a bigger place for less money, which we were super excited about. Plus, this building is super, super old. As you can tell when I like bring you around it, you'll notice like the doorknobs, the doors, the paint. It's just very, very old, uh, which is what we were looking for because if you guys watched my apartment tour from last year, uh, the first two years of us living in New York, we were in a very new apartment. Like Everything was new. The appliances were new. It was really nice, but when we envisioned ourselves living in New York, I was thinking like, Friends and Seinfeld and like just old gritty apartments and that's kind of what we wanted So when we looked for a new place, we found this and we immediately were like yes uh, So keep that in mind. We could never afford a place of this size in Manhattan uh, So if you are living in New York want to move to New York uh, look in Brooklyn because you can find some really cool spots There was three girls living here before so they think I think they turned this into either the living room or another bedroom but we decided to use it as kind of like our studio like Pat keeps a lot of his camera stuff here so every time that we want to shoot because we usually film or shoot photos at least every day <laughs> um, so he kind of keeps his stuff right here for now we're still kind of figuring out where we want to put everything um, and then this mess of a corner is me uh, so this clothing rack I got at Ikea super cheap uh, basically I just put everything that I have to shoot on this so uh, anything that I haven't, like any new clothes that I haven't posted either on my Instagram or I want to feature in like a haul or like a lookbook or something like that, I kind of like lay out here and it just gives me a good idea so it doesn't get lost in the shuffle. Um, I'm not going to lie, it's usually a mess. So I wanted to keep that true. There's even a suitcase on the ground uh, because we're leaving, we're going on a trip, so we're packing. Uh, yeah. This you guys saw in our last apartment tour. This was in our bedroom, used it as a dresser. Uh, we keep it out here, I just think it looks really pretty. It's got some cracks in it just from like moving and all that. Um, but yeah, this is from Urban Outfitters. This is kind of random, might as well talk about it. Uh, we found this in, where did we find this, Pat? In the basement. The basement of our apartment? Yeah, okay, so we found it. It's like an old, old suitcase. We thought it looked cool. Pat used it for a couple photo shoots and then we just decided to keep it in here because we thought it looked it looked uh, like it matched the yeah, apartment a little yeah, yeah. bit. Uh, we have a fire escape, which I love. It's just very New York, and I was really excited when we found a place that had a fire escape because I just love it, and it looks it just looks cool. We wanted a table because we didn't have one in our last place. We just had like a bar top, um, but we wanted to keep this like pretty open for filming purposes. Uh, so we wanted to get just like a breakfast table or like a high high top table because we have bar stools from our old place that we didn't want to get rid of. So we went to a flea market in Brooklyn and we found this table. We probably could have made it ourselves if we were at home, but it was pretty inexpensive. Like I said, found it at flea market and we love it. Pat does a lot of his editing on here, which is awesome. Uh, okay, so moving on, you come through these doors, which we never, never shut. Hardly ever. You guys saw the furniture from our old place. We kept it, obviously. Uh, so the couch and the chair we bought when we were in Minnesota had it forever still looks good to us so we're keeping it also with the um table we've had that since college it's from pier one it's got a lot of memories etched into it <laughs> with the amount of people that like put stuff on it and the, the wood is kind of all over the place but we like it and it looks cool so uh yeah that's boring stuff uh the rug i'm really excited about the rug um this is from whoa world market this is a live plant uh, you guys saw this in one of my vlogs when we bought her, Gertie, right? Um, she's doing well. She has a few leaves that died, but other than that, she's holding up. She's growing, looking great. 
Uh, we put a big mirror here. I always find that when you put mirrors in apartments, it just helps open everything up um, and makes it look super nice and bright. Okay, so one really cool thing, I remember when Pat and I toured this place before we actually got it, uh, we noticed this on the walls. Basically, it's just like this built-in shelf, essentially. Um, it's so freaking cool. We decided it made our life so much easier because we were able to put books and photos up there without actually hanging anything. Most of this stuff is Pat's photos. Uh, that's Pat's photo. Uh, love that. That's our friend Josh. He sketched that. Uh, and then that is a viewer, actually. I will have her, all of her stuff linked below. She is so sweet and she takes the most amazing photos. She's from Spain, I believe. Um, so I will link her Instagram below uh, so you guys can see that. Um, this Pat had as like a collectible growing up, right, Pat? I should have you in this, but you know. No, I got it in Australia. Okay, got it in Australia. That's another one of Pat's photos. So what we for sure envisioned when we, before we got this place and we were like, yes, Pat's like, all my books can go up there. It just looks cool. It has a good aesthetic. Yeah, it, it looks cool in here and it helps like kind of, it's like cluttered, but not cluttered at the same time. It just has a lot of like our personality in it. Organized chaos. Organized chaos. Much like Love our that. life. So this is another set of doors. We're gonna go into the kitchen now. Fun stuff about the fridge, like yes, it's really old, um, but we decided to get some magnets because we didn't have a magnet fridge in our last place. We got this like Scrabble kit. I can't Are remember. there any dirty words on there? No. Okay. Um, but when our friends come over, we do like fun things with them. And uh, we had a Halloween party, and so everyone decided to make like creepy words out of the Scrabble letters. <laughs> so that's why it's all very spooky um, because when we had a Halloween party, they did that. But regardless, I don't know where we got the Scrabble letters, um, but then we also got these really cute- I think those are from magnets. Kiara. The Scrabble letters? Yeah. Oh, I think they are. Shout out Kiara, if you're watching. Um, when we looked at uh, this apartment, the landlord was like, don't touch the kitchen, especially the hatch, which I think is like, hutch, hatch. Hutch. Tomato, tomato, I don't know. I don't know, you guys get it. Looks like this, it's super old, and uh, the landlord was like, don't touch it, don't fix it, don't do anything to it. So we're like, okay, cool, we can live with it. It's pretty awesome. Pat keeps a lot of his stuff in here. Um, coming over here, this uh, hutch, hatch, whatever, continues here, and this is where we keep all of our dishes. So then down here, we have this little easel, which again is from Magnolia Market. Fun fact, it's um, Magnolia Market is by Chip and Joanna Gaines from that HG, is it HGTV? I'm not sure. They're getting a line at Target and I, I, I can't, I'm gonna spend all my money on it. They just have the coolest stuff. So I have this easel, Chrissy Teigen cookbook on it. Yes, love it. Um, there's a really cool wine rack that's actually usually full with wine, but you know, it's not. Uh, another little shout out to Magnolia Market. They have the best fake flowers or greenery. Um, this is where I got these. We have a hanging plant, which I want to hang higher, but we just haven't gotten around to it yet. Uh, she's real. We haven't named her yet. Um, we got the hooks and all of that from Ikea. Super inexpensive. Those are our most used pots. They look kind of crazy, um, but we have a gas stove. So unless we have cast iron skillets, they get kind of crazy. Okay, so you walk down this hallway and you're kind of like back where you started. I'm gonna sound like a broken record, but I got this and these really cute things from Magnolia Market. Love you, Joanna. <laughs> uh, we have this. You guys saw it in our last apartment as well. This is just like a weird decor piece that we bought at Pier 1 a long time ago and then decided to fill it with Polaroids of friends that come to visit or just come to our apartment in general. It's just a fun way to kind of like relive a memory because most of the time we're having a very good time in these Polaroids and it just, it's a fun thing to look back on. The only thing I wish I would have done was like date them, uh, but didn't, whatever, still works. I like the idea of an open closet, even though it doesn't look as clean necessarily in here. Uh, it's like what you said, organized chaos. We kind of like it. It's easy to just grab and go. It's unique. We don't, we didn't have one of these before. And most of the time when we have a closet, we leave it open anyways. So, uh, Pat's stuff, my stuff, I kind of take over. <laughs> as you could probably imagine. Now, let's talk about the bed. It's the same bed, same actually everything that you guys saw, except for the pillows and the blanket. Uh, we still haven't got a queen bed, imagine that. Uh, it's on our to-do list, we still are sleeping on a full, crazy. 
Uh, the headboard is the same that you guys saw before. It's from Pier One. Uh, and then our bedspread and sheets are from Target. For our pillows, they're all the blue one and the pink one are from West Elm and this one is from Target. Uh, we kind of got a lot of our bedroom stuff at West Elm. There was one right around the corner from us when we first moved to New York ever, uh, which is why the lamps, the nightstand, are all from West Elm. Um, but you guys get the picture. You guys saw all of that anyways. Uh, this bench we had in our hallway in our old place. It's from Target. We keep like extra sheets, extra uh, towels and stuff like that in there. Uh, and then have a curtain hanging, got some fairy lights. I have to fill these with stuff. Pat and I are still trying to figure out what we want to put. They're like uh, pressed frames, so a lot of the times people put in like pressed flowers or greenery in there. Uh, we just got to figure out what we want to put in there. But those are from Anthropology. And then this again is the same Rebecca. We'll have her linked below as the image out, out in our living room. She actually sent this to us, which was so, so sweet of her. So definitely a huge shout out. I'm gonna put her Instagram even on the screen. Here you go, girl. Um, but yeah, we love her stuff, so yay. All right, so you come down the hallway. Uh, we're gonna go into the bathroom next. Uh, but quickly, I wanted to talk about this cool thing that Pat put together from our Cuba trip. He took all of these on film and he framed them really nicely. It's definitely our favorite photo, so we put that in the hallway. I think it looks really nice. One thing that we really liked about it was this. It's like, what is this, like frosted Frost glass? glass. Oh, so cool, we wanna get like a WC. You know what I'm talking about? Shower curtain, this is from Target. Really pretty, I like it, it's actually kinda new. Okay, so you guys saw this over the toilet thing. We got this from Bed Bath & Beyond. You saw my dad and I put it together in our moving vlog. Uh, still holding up strong. I was gonna clean this and make this really pretty, but I just had to keep it realistic. This is how my makeup looks mostly all the time. Um, the products pretty much stay the same. This is stuff that Pat and I, or mostly me, use pretty much every day. So I like to keep that very accessible. Got some towels, you know, bathroom things, and that's pretty much it. Okay, so now let's move on to the last room, which is the office slash guest room. So this is what it looks like, and if you guys saw my last apartment tour, which I sound like a broken record again because I keep talking about it, but we didn't have a window, so it's much more open, it's not so cave-like, which we love. So for where I do all my editing for you guys is right here. Uh, my desk chair, same as last time from West Elm. And then up here, I got this bulletin board from Target, which was like nine bucks. Uh, and it ba it's basically my inspo wall. It looks really pretty. And then also I have my video ideas up here, which I add to, cross out, that whole thing. I feel like every beauty guru, for lack of a better word, or just like YouTuber has these. They're the Alex drawers from Ikea. Um, they're so nice. Um, I have like makeup, extra makeup stuff for stuff that I get gifted. Um, I have like important documents, things like that. Um, it just kind of helps keep everything organized. Uh, we bought this day bed in Minnesota. We've had it for a while. It's nice because if people aren't staying here, because we love to have our friends come and visit, hence the Polaroid wall, um, it pulls out, it's like a trundle bed, so we can fit a lot of people. Um, but what I like about it is it's kind of like a hub for all my outfits as well, so if I'm planning something, it just I just got done cleaning up all my Halloween stuff. It kind of piles on here, but it's a good visual thing for me to see everything. Uh, and that's it, oh my gosh. We love the space, it has a lot of character, it's exactly what we wanted, so we're really, really happy with our apartment. I hope you guys liked it and got some design ideas um, or ways to decorate your place, your room, your apartment, your house, whatever you feel. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!